Ever wondered what happens when you mix a zebra with a horse, a sheep with a pig, or even a lion with a tiger? Today, I'll unveil the mysteries behind these fascinating hybrids that scientists have made in the lab. And stick around until the end, where we'll delve into the astonishing tale of the saber-toothed penguin you see before you. Let's dive in. But before we move into the topic, please comment on your favorite hybrid below and don't forget to like the video as YouTube loves you more than any other thing. Number 1. Blood Parrot Childish Fish The Blood Parrot Cichlid is a distinctive hybrid fish created through selective breeding, boasting a rounded body, beak-like mouth, and vibrant hues ranging from orange to red. Originating from a mix of cichlid species, likely including the Mida cichlid and the Redhead cichlid, its hybridization has sparked debates within the aquarium community regarding ethical breeding practices. Despite this controversy, blood parrot cichlids are prized for their playful and interactive personalities, often forming bonds with their owners. However, they can also exhibit territorial behavior, particularly during breeding periods, necessitating ample space and hiding spots in the aquarium. Maintaining stable water conditions with slightly acidic to neutral pH levels and temperatures between 75-80 degree WAF, 24-27 degree is crucial for their well-being. Omnivorous in nature, they require a balanced diet of pellets, flakes, and live or frozen foods to thrive. While they can coexist with compatible tank mates, aggression may arise towards smaller or timid species. Breeding blood parrot cichlids presents challenges due to their hybrid origins and unique physical traits, requiring careful mate selection and optimal tank conditions for success. Number 2. The Human Z The notion of fusing human and animal DNA together has captured the imagination of some for decades. With claims dating back to the 1920s suggesting the creation of a human Z through experimental means. Allegedly, a scientist attempted to achieve this by introducing human DNA into a female monkey, resulting in a live birth. However, skepticism surrounds such assertions, as they lack credible scientific evidence and raise numerous ethical and practical concerns. The biological disparity between humans and chimpanzees, for example, presents a significant barrier to successful interbreeding, with substantial genetic differences between the two species. Moreover, the purported experiment's alleged success would have had profound implications. Yet the lack of subsequent replication or acknowledgement by the scientific community casts doubt on its validity. Ethical considerations also loom large, as the creation of such hybrids would raise profound moral questions regarding the treatment and rights of the resulting offspring. Number 3. Killer Bees Killer bees, also known as Africanized honeybees or Africanized bees, are a hybrid species resulting from the interbreeding of European honeybees, Apis mellifera, with African honeybees, Apis mellifera scutellata. Originally introduced to Brazil in the 1950s in an attempt to increase honey production, these bees quickly spread throughout South and Central America and eventually reached the southern United States by the 1990s. Known for their aggressive behavior and defensive instincts, killer bees have gained notoriety due to their tendency to attack perceived threats in large numbers, often resulting in serious injury or death. While the venom of killer bees is not more potent than that of European honeybees, their aggressive nature and tendency to swarm make them more dangerous in certain situations. They are highly protective of their nests, and can pursue perceived threats for long distances, making encounters with humans particularly hazardous. However, it's important to note that killer bee attacks are relatively rare, and most encounters occur when people inadvertently disturb their nests. Efforts to manage and mitigate the spread of killer bees have been ongoing, including breeding programs aimed at producing more docile hybrid strains and public education campaigns to raise awareness about safety precautions. Number four, Ligger. The Ligger is a hybrid big cat resulting from the crossbreeding of a male lion and a female tiger. 
It possesses characteristics of both parent species, featuring the lion's mane and the tiger's stripes. Ligers are the largest known felines and can weigh over 900 pounds, 400 kilograms, and measure up to 11 feet, 3.3 meters in length. This hybridization occurs in captivity, as lions and tigers inhabit different continents in the wild and rarely encounter each other. Ligers inherit growth-promoting genes from both parent species, contributing to their remarkable size. They also typically exhibit docile temperaments, often resembling those of their domestic cat relatives. Despite their impressive size and appearance, ligers are sterile and cannot reproduce. While ligers can occur in captivity, there are ethical concerns surrounding their breeding, as it often involves artificial insemination or other human interventions. Critics argue that such breeding practices prioritize novelty over the welfare of the animals involved and may contribute to the overpopulation of big cats in captivity. Number 5. Zorse. The Zorse is a hybrid animal resulting from the crossbreeding of a male zebra and a female horse. This hybridization creates a unique creature that typically exhibits characteristics of both parent species. Zorses often have a striped pattern reminiscent of their zebra parent, which can vary in intensity depending on the specific genetic makeup of the individual. Additionally, they may display traits such as a horse-like body shape, mane, and tail, along with some adaptations from the zebra, such as their strong legs and resilient nature. Like other hybrids, such as mules, horse-donkey hybrids, or ligers, lion-tiger hybrids, zorses are typically sterile, meaning they cannot reproduce. They are primarily bred for novelty or specific purposes, such as serving as riding or working animals in certain contexts. While zorses can occur in captivity, their breeding raises ethical considerations, as it often involves human intervention and may not prioritize the welfare of the animals involved. Additionally, they may face challenges in finding acceptance within their respective equine or zebra communities due to their hybrid status. Number 6. Ironage Pig The Ironage Pig, also known as the Celtic Pig or the Ancient Celtic Pig, refers to a breed of domestic pig that traces its organs back to Ancient Celtic. These pigs were raised by Celtic peoples for various purposes, including food, religious ceremonies, and as offerings to deities. The Iron Age pig is believed to have been a hardy and adaptable breed, well suited to the rugged landscapes and harsh conditions of Iron Age Europe. They were typically kept in small herds or allowed to forage freely in wooded areas where they would feed on acorns, roots, and other natural vegetation. Archaeological evidence, including pig bones found at Celtic settlement sites, provides insights into the physical characteristics and husbandry practices associated with these ancient pigs. While specific details about the appearance and behavior of the Iron Age pig may vary, they were likely similar in size and morphology to modern domestic pig breeds, with adaptations to their environment and lifestyle. Today, efforts are underway to preserve and revive the genetic heritage of the Iron Age pig through selective breeding and conservation programs. By studying and preserving these ancient breeds, researchers and conservationists hope to gain a deeper understanding of the cultural, economic, and ecological significance of pigs in ancient Celtic societies. Number 7. Grolar Bear Grolar Bear, also known as the Pidsley Bear, is quite the fascinating creature. Picture this. It's a hybrid between a grizzly bear and a polar bear. Yeah, you heard that right. A mix of two of the most iconic bears out there. So, how does this happen? Well, it's all about habitat overlap. See, as climate change alters the Arctic landscape, polar bears are venturing southward, while grizzlies are moving north. And when these two bears meet and mingle, sometimes they, uh, well hit it off. The result? Grolar bears. These hybrids can have a mix of characteristics from both parents, like the grizzly's brown fur and the polar bear's creamy white coat. They're adapted to survive in a changing environment, with traits from both species giving them a unique edge. 
but it's not just about survival. Grolar bears are a symbol of the impact of climate change on wildlife. Their existence highlights how warming temperatures are reshaping ecosystems and driving species to new territories. Number 8. Belgian Blue The Belgian Blue cattle breed stands as a testament to the power of selective breeding and international collaboration. Originating from the export of special bulls from the UK to Belgium in the 19th century, this breed was carefully integrated into the local cattle population to enhance growth and improve overall stock quality, a practice seen in various countries during that era. Through meticulous refinement, the Belgian Blue emerged as a breed that surpassed others in terms of muscular development, earning it the nickname Double Muscled due to its remarkable bulkiness. What sets the Belgian Blue apart is its exceptional musculature, a trait highly sought after in cattle breeding for its impact on meat quality. Research has revealed that Belgian Blues carry a genetic mutation that suppresses the production of certain proteins, allowing for continuous muscle growth beyond the typical limits. Number 9. Spider Silk Goats Scientists have found a way to insert genes from spiders into goats, resulting in goats that produce a protein similar to spider silk in their milk. This protein is harvested from goat's milk and used to create spider silk, which is known for its incredible strength and elasticity. Spider silk is stronger than steel, yet flexible and lightweight, making it highly valuable for a wide range of applications, from medical devices to bulletproof clothing. The process of creating spider silk goats involves carefully selecting and modifying the genes of both spiders and goats. By introducing the spider silk gene into the goat's DNA, scientists are able to instruct the goat's mammary glands to produce the spider silk protein along with their milk. While the idea of spider silk goats may seem like something out of science fiction, it holds great promise for various industries seeking to harness the unique properties of spider silk. Additionally, the use of goats as bioreactors for producing spider silk is considered more ethical and sustainable compared to other methods, such as harvesting silk directly from spiders. However, there are also ethical considerations and concerns about the potential impacts of genetically modified animals on the environment and animal welfare. Number 10. Tigron, a Tigron is a hybrid big cat resulting from the crossbreeding of a male tiger and a female lion. It possesses physical traits and characteristics of both parent species, blending the tiger's distinctive stripes with the lion's mane. Tigrons are created through selective breeding in captivity, as tigers and lions inhabit different continents and would not naturally encounter each other in the wild. Like other big cat hybrids such as Ligers, lion-tiger hybrids, and leopons, lion-leopard hybrids. Tigrons inherit a mix of traits from their parents, including size, coloration, and behavior. They are often larger than both parent species, with a combination of the tiger's strength and the lion's social nature. The creation of tigrons raises ethical concerns regarding the welfare of the animals involved, as well as questions about the conservation value of hybridization. While they may be fascinating to observe, tigrons serve as a reminder of the complexities and ethical considerations surrounding captive breeding programs and the management of hybrid animals.